Okay, good evening everybody. Just gonna give it a bit more before we actually get the stream started, before we actually move into the game, but so far things are looking good. Just double checking all the final last little bit of settings, making sure everything's coming through all right. I hope this time we don't have the problem that we did with my previous live stream where the audio of the game itself was very quiet. Hey Emma, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, we might be starting a little bit sooner over here than the countdown is suggests. Just, just wanted to make sure everything was up and running. And I'm glad to hear you good, Emma. So, before we get started, I just want to mention that I have now created my YouTube account as well as my Twitter account. So all of my videos that, uh, well, all of my live streams will now get posted onto YouTube for you to enjoy and watch after the fact and also i've got notifications that will be going out on twitter as well for when i go live and linking all my videos that i have posted on youtube will get notified over there as well so growing the platforms added a whole bunch working on the the layout of everything and i think it's going well so i support everybody that is here and anybody who listens to this video in the future but i think on that note we're going to get started I did. I did. I actually had to. I had to actually had to work on it quite a bit. There was quite a lot that I had to do, figuring it out. So just a little recap. We ended off at the beginning of Act Nine on the last stream, and this is the furthest I have ever gotten in this game. Um, had quite a bit of help last night. And tonight we are going to see if we can't get past Act 10 into what they refer to as the actual content of the game. 
never been there, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when we get to that point. So where am I actually going? Am I going to the descent or? Okay, maybe it's the descent. Still don't have enough reserves for that. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned links to my YouTube and my Twitter account can be found in the about page or at the bottom of this video, you should see um, two links in the bio that'll take you there as well. I hope the audio for the game is actually coming across a lot better in the stream. Because last night what ended up happening is I ended up having my voice very loud. And I died. What ended up happening is I had my voice very loud and the game was ridiculously quiet. So I hope this time it's a little bit better. I didn't mention it. Okay, awesome. I think the game's uh, sound will work up a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better. If that doesn't work, then I can always just put it up in game a bit more. It's not really audible. Okay, let's try and fix that. Uh, let's quickly try and fix that. Um, sound. 
Open up the master volume. Okay, how does that sound? You should be able to hear now. What the uh, hell is this? Always hoped I'd get a warrior's death. Three turns, three four turns, three turn. I've got no idea what the hell this shit is. I'm afraid the only option here for me is execution. Rocking prison for three turns, plus one fortification vigilance per turn. Plus one to Riker uh, moves to fortification. All set now. Okay, awesome. Glad to hear that. I'm just gonna say in prison because I've actually got no idea what the hell that means. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> you say prison cell. I hear hot. Must have time to gather. There's the foot so there is still another way to go. So I hold up on the foot for now and try and find that other entrance. So much to this game that I have got no freaking idea how it works. It's a divine mana flask. That is better than what I've got. Five out of thirty-five, eight of forty-two thousand four hundred. Yep, I'll take that. in about sandstorm.
I'm literally just running along the edge because I don't know what goes away. Shit, that's actually true. I need to figure out where I ended off last time. So I finished coming down this way. Finished off that. I think I was in the process of moving over. Oh, I'm on 69. <laughs> Sixty-nine. Okay, so I need to think about going up that way and coming down that way. So let's get into this first. Okay, so I finished off this loop. The last thing that I needed to get was that one, and then I can start with the other side. Maximum nice cost of skills. Okay. And then now we can start with this path up here towards that Ben Energy Shield before mana. That's one of the big ones I'm looking for. And so that's next. Nice to okay, I'm going to just go back to town because I think there's some stuff that needs to be completed there. Oh, come on, no, it's just a waste of a portal. Some of the members blessings in the Medicare. You did it. Thank you. Ah, our relic. Well, it took some time, but thanks to our bottled storm. No idea what that does. Bye. When I received my first... Oh, that can go away, that can go away. Just the place for this. Get it over there. That gets put over there. And those just get moved to the center for now. That I'm not interested in, and personal strike I'm not interested in. That I'll just move to my list of stuff that I'm holding on to for now. Full storm to clear this sandstone. Okay. Um, that was over here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the ISIS is now free. that I'm never going to use. Look. 
shit. Hurry, you're a monster to bat. Next one. So we want. Oh. Want this one. One. That one and that one. Another unique. No idea if it's good or not. Open the chest. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So that wasn't exactly the most. Hmm. It's forbidden vault. Exile. Be careful. Of what? Hello. Unveil items. I don't know what the fuck that means. Warm nights. And Emma, I don't know if you noticed, but I did put some interactivity for viewers. I've got an eight ball at the bottom that you can ask some questions. I've got some emotes that you can use that are not the standard um, uh, Twitch emotes. Obviously, in the future, there will be more to do as the channel grows. No, I think it's a good start. this lizard run off to I know it's a scorpion I'm just calling it a lizard <laughs> And now why can I not get through there? Did I have to kill everything first? Now why am I being stopped from going through there? Ah. It's the multi-faced fight.
child. Be free from the torments of immortality. A mother's keen heart. Uh, I just suppose with them Ducks and Walker's own one nearby enemy. Additional physical damage reduction for each nearby enemy up to 8% for each nearby enemy. That's not bad. And then so poison on you, you cannot be poisoned while there are at least 3 poisons. Mistake 50 and reflect damage, reflect hexes. Let's roll with that for now. Okay, so that was done. Now I'm moving. I technically haven't put in that faulty yet. I should actually say 50 to maximum life. That's done, that's done, that's done. Now we just need to start moving up. Lovely. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six levels before I get Aldrich. Is that it? No, they're trying to point out to me. St I've got no idea what that means, but okay. Figure that out, I guess. Yeah, I didn't get the best rewards from that one, but I wasn't exactly the most proactive in pushing around. Two way, okay. There's two ways to go. So, don't really know one, yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing I was here for that. Truly become the heretic. Doubling in foul alchemy. I don't want to leave because I don't know if that was the only reason I was here. Oh, there's actually more to do. I reach level 70 as a non hardcore character. <laughs> hey! These small little achievements every time. enough for me to get out of here. 
person have anything for me. Remember, humanity needs us. And now we just go back to this, and now we're looking for the next route. Take those, thank you very much. When you can get up there. I'm not running all the way around this bitch. Okay, and that was the other way. Take that, take that. It's a dead end. I guess I'm going in the right direction. Really? That's all they gave me from that run? Alright, it pretty freaking well. Okay, is there anything I'm looking here? Find... Oh yeah. It was Fortunus. Persons? Mother of all the puppet mistress. Lost of a million faces. Queen of despair and queen of the sands. With my service to science. There might be an ascendancy trial in here, but I don't know that I don't want to run around like an idiot looking for one. I just ran you for no reason and that looks to be dead end so I'm just gonna move on to the next sector and hopefully I don't need anything anyway.
I'm not gonna bother with that guy because I am already full up on that. May humanity flourish. The dark ember remains. What do I do with that thing? And he's down there. Does this just lead to the next section, or is that actually somewhere I need to go? Uh, the refinery. I'm guessing I need to get something out of the refinery. point I'm trying to explore everything because I don't know where the remaining ascendancy trials are. Unix and a lapis amulet. It's four uniques in one run. Divine life flask. I will definitely be putting that on. It's 100. No, I'll keep that. I see there's something back in this room. I am no beast of burden. Um, how much space do I need? Um, Perhaps for once, something good will come from this vile trath and alchemy. I'll put you in there. I was told I don't have to focus on that right now, so I'm not. I am no beast of no way to carry that. I 
Let's test the entrance again. I'm guessing this was just to get that one item that I needed. to get past the point where Sin's at. And so my here we stand. I don't know if I've got to fight something. Oh, no. And meet Sin at the black hole. I've got no idea what I'm looking for. Still writing cool. Did I miss something? There's a lot of little side parts. Guessing I just got lucky with the route, or I've missed something important. I must have time to gather my will. Ways that's it. Unless this cave is very small. Something. I'm guessing that's a boss. Oh, I just clicked on one. Did it matter which one I went through? Watch me fuck this up badly. So there's just random spouts floating around you. Okay. I'm guessing I have to go into each one and finish them off. So it would seem.
Okay, so that's a thing. Oh, wait, isn't that the one thing that I'm not really struggling with? My lighting defense, yeah. I must have time to gather my will. Inventory is filled with a lot of random shit and four uniques. And I've got no idea if the uniques are actually good or not. And I've got a self of flask. Take that, and I'll take that. Uh, create considered ground on use. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to go through that again. And then there's one left. I need to be a lot more careful. Okay, so that's everybody dead. Who am I fighting now? Nice. Yeah, so some random shit for yeah, Lily. You're thinking about dying. You're questioning me. Well, I... Is anything that I can sell to you? Sell to Orion? Good tidings to you. Ready to go. You see, I don't have much of a choice. There's nowhere else for me to go. Well. Okay, what can I sell you? I can sell you that. Sell you that. Oh, you that. I'm gonna keep that because I want to have a look at what it is. Everything else I want to hang on to. Simon? Well, see. If you're thinking about dying, I need my stash. Currency is that one. Uh, same. Pop oh, that. That, 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 half of that one as well. That, that, that. Okay, that's that done. Uh, next page. Uniques. I don't have space for any more uniques. It's an interesting problem to have. Then again, 90% of the uniques might actually just be shit. Lighting resistance, increased cold damage. 
I've against shocked enemies. That actually doesn't seem bad. That could be nice for like a, a Sparks build. Or am I completely wrong on that? And then nothing else is unique, so everything else just gets dumped into that slot. So that I don't have. That. Seven can go there. That can go there. That can go across. Bone ring I want to use, but the element resistance. This is good for minions, but the rings I'm currently wearing are basically doing all the elemental resistances that I've got. Unless there's something that I'm completely missing. I don't know how to incorporate that. Then this is 38 to 71. Okay, now this doesn't look like it's going to be better. 79 to 126 though. This might be a pretty big increase. So let's just do this. See if I can't get a random green on it. There we go. I actually think that is a massive increase. With this, and he does 28 to 53 elemental damage. And then minions deal 23 and 14. This is 23 and 78% increased damage. And our leeches mana. There's 5 damage. And it's 79 to 126 elemental damage. It has to be better. I can't see how it's not. The only problem is I just lost my fire resistance. So I think my defenses on fire are down to 60. Okay. It is good. Goodbye. This. I've heard the Um to work you I've heard the group goodbye hail fellow explorer the prodigal I see you for freedom okay so let's do this first let's go to my hideout let's try and get that fire resistance back let's go this one let's say fire oh, yeah. Ooh, there's no more space for modifiers. That is going to be a problem. Old fire. I don't think I can add fire resistance to this. Nope. Cold and lightning. Can we do this? Fire resistance? No. I think it's maybe time for a gear upgrade. So I can put new resistance on them. Also, they come with more powerful resistances. I don't know if that's going to be the best move or not, but it's the only move I've got right now. Now, who the hell needs oh. cells? Okay, that's just that. Deal for items. Don't be. In again. Hero. Okay, so that's the expedition chest. I'm guessing it's one of these people. Hello there, oh, not that person. That's Make a player. Empty. Greetings. What do you sell? A flask of movement. Don't know what that is. For freedom. Good tidings to you. Purchase. Okay, so here I've got now access to all of the gems that I've unlocked thus far. I don't think there's anything missing. Okay, so I'm officially level 71, so let's... No, so there's no new gems that I need. So I've got all the gems. That's no problem. But who's selling armor? Okay, yeah. Actually, I should be able to start looking at the stuff that I've already got. I definitely don't want to sacrifice this because it's got 25% increased movement speed. So I definitely don't want to give that up. And I don't know if I've got movement unlocked as a crafting recipe. 
Let's see what's in here for me to use. So, this blade wise. Currently, it only has an energy shield of 126. Everything else is meh stats. I'm also just the energy shield, and I can add whatever it is to it, but it needs to have a blue, blue, blue. Let's go blue, blue, blue. See, this is all worse because these are all low level items that I picked up much earlier in the run. Energy shield on one three to six. Alright, take this. It's got the blue 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 that I need. I just need to relink it. So let's start off with that. Let's just say Got the blue, blue, blue that I need. Blue, not blue. It's got blue. The one and two on link, but that's okay. Let's take that off. Put that on. Actually, let's remove everything from it. Actually, now we've got one of those. Probably do that. Then guess everything has to be empty. everything and let's make it a okay so energy shield is more it's got fire resistant which is beautiful energy shield that's already better than what I had okay let's have a look on this is looking 71 75 76 so I still need some more fire and chaos so fire and lightning would have been better but these are all turn it nice critical strike drones evasion rating is this worth it armor and evasion armor 105 now Do I have any boots in here that are worth it? Also, once again, nothing really fantastic about the helmet besides the cold resist. That's a circlet that's got red and blue. Class level 39. What does this do? Need to shield 64. Nah. However, 10.2 lives per second. Nah, not worth it. Let's see if this guy's got anything. Sorry, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but... I'm trying to make gold stronger. And hopefully this ends up doing that. Armor 169. The armor on that thing is ridiculous. Life, 41 life per second, that's not bad. Now, is that just because it's gemmed and it's rare? It's a strength and dex, I'm almost guaranteed not going to get a blue on that. It's strength and intelligence. Let's, let's test it, see if it works. Fair winds and calm seas. Yes, first things first. Let's get that. Now let's change up these colors. Red, blue, that's all I need. Let's get rid of any modifiers that are on there and let's make this a ray. And then let's take the armor. Okay, so it is actually less armor, however. Strength armor increased armor maximum life. Accuracy rating increased armor and energy shield. Regen 1.7 life per second. Therefore, quality 20% energy shield. You know what? This might actually be better. Let's take that off. Weapon is fine. Shield is fine. I think those alone was a pretty good increase, but I am dangerously low on cold and lightning at the moment. Uh, armor, 
Lightning resistance. Evasion rating. Oh my gosh. Why is this so complicated? Let's see with what I've got now if I can add the uh, resistances that I need. If I can't, then I'm just going to have to work with what I've got. But hopefully this has increased the damage quite a bit and made me a little bit sturdier. <clears throat> the fire and... Wait, hold on, what am I looking for? I am looking for... Fire and lightning. And this first two, one like that. Why does it seem naked and empty? Where is my frost mark? Oh, duh. It's not on right now. It's back on and then we have a look. So I need cold and light. Cold and lightning resistances. Craft. So 13%. They're done to my character. 71, 75, 66. So I still need some more cold and fire. Of course, these are new. I'll do it there. Space. Maximum life. Can I not? Remove something from somewhere else. No more suffixes. Right. Don't do the resistances either. Okay. So I'm sitting with a problem. Seventy-one, sixty-six, and seventy-five. It's okay. Okay, let's carry on. Let's see if I can't forget Act 2 finished off. Act 10. Sorry, Act 2. So I've got the Cathedral Apex already. You there. I am in need of your services once more. Help me. I must have time to take that. Phew. Good dogs. Okay, so that was the quickest mission ever. Oh my gosh, I did nothing and four people want to speak to me already. Ah, good to if you want. Don't have it. Then if it is ever for we farewell. Oh, just guessing everybody's giving me their now missions now. Mosa time. Mosa time. There we <laughs> Everybody just gave me their missions.
If I have a moment for last words, I'd like to see above all the fuel they have me doing beyond boring. Now you're a star. Let's hope for some entertainment. A quick nap. Like I'd love to know what the hell I just did there, but I honestly don't know. What's the line here? Cool winds. Be careful. Or is that just her? Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I can know what the hell I'm doing. Fucking ray. Why am I picking these things up like shit? I suppose I shouldn't complain. Is this the right way to go? Oh my gosh, there's a whole this bunch of different routes to go. Must be put to an end. different parts are there. That's not my Siri. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Find the elixir of allure. That's just a hideout. Oh, oh, it's another hideout. Oh, what the hell is this little door that I ran past? That's the Forbidden Archives. What the hell is down here? Okay, something random. I must have time to gather my
That's just loot. That means this is going to just end the wall. Okay, so southeast is the direction I need to go. Let's see if there isn't any SNC trials in there. So I don't know where those are. I missed something. Oh, I think I'm done with this area. What's up, Maestro? How you doing, bud? Dude, I have been needing you for the last, like, hour. I have been coming across shit that I've got no fucking idea what it is. Next time I'm back in town, I'll tell you what I've been struggling with. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out all these different routes. trying to get to a waypoint as soon as we did. Okay, so I just made a massive ass loop. Oh, it's not doing it. Unnecessary. Yeah, one thing I have noticed though, I've got to be a lot more careful than what I thought I did. These motherfuckers hurt.
Nice. Am I missing a... No, I'm not. I don't know where to get the next ascendancy trials. Okay, so you're saying this area is good for grinding. But before I carry on there, I want to go back to here so I can find these other three branches first. I just came from this place and now it's saying I need to go back there. Why? It's over here. Or did I miss something? And let's onto this. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that for now. I am no beast of burden. Seriously, got to run all the way around. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, is that as a result of all the different paths you can go to, or is that just how it is? Lazy development. <laughs> Oh, Maestro, got some good news for you. Uh, my Twitter and my YouTube have now been set up and everything has been linked in the bio, so you should be able to see it all now. And all the past live streams are now officially live on my YouTube channel as well. Yeah, no, I'm trying to put in as much effort as I can to try and grow the channel as, as much as I possibly can. And I've even got a nice little interactive 8 ball in the about section that people can play with. Do some fortune telling. <laughs>
I could try and get over some two stone rings. I made some changes to my gear, which has caused my damage output to be quite a bit more. But the problem is, I am now lacking on some certain resistances. I am on 71, 66, 75. So there's definitely some room for improvement over there. Struggling with that soon enough, anyway. Is that gonna be something that's gonna massively? Yeah, I've got a map piece. We're struggling with that soon enough, anyway. What do you mean? Like, is it gonna start becoming a, like exponentially a bigger and bigger problem if I don't address it? Thirty percent off of the campaign. Why? Is that just them being mean, or is there actually a reason for that? Only if I haven't gone is further down, but I don't know if that's a dead end or if that's actually a route to go. Looks like it's actually a route. son you help with i came across a couple of these people already and i have no idea what to do with them i think the one person i, I interrogated the one care. person i released the one person it's i i got no fucking idea what to do with this execute and bargain Oh shit, okay. Just do it. Bye bye. You kill so good. Oh. You surprise me, Helen. So always go with the options execute and bog, and then we get some pretty decent things from you. Burden. Now, this is pretty decent. He 
gain them in crafting recipes. Okay. Okay, so these ones you basically want to take and take them to that that June lady, I think it was. And basically get the anvils from there, okay? Now I found this unique. I wanted to get your appointment your appointment. What the fuck? I wanted to get your opinion on this. It's 202% increased energy shield. But the big thing for this is minions still 15% increased damage, but hair reduced life, of course. Yeah, I see June there. It's a blue, blue, blue. And that's what I'm currently using on my chest piece. The only thing is I'm going to lose even more resistances. Cold and lightning. If I use this. And obviously I can do that. And now we've got three. Now we've got a linked. Opinions. You keep the one I have now. This one. Okay, fair enough. So I want to take some of this old shit off. Basically, like you said, take the veiled stuff. Blessings. Unveil item. Okay, attacks with weapons penetrate fifteen minions. Minions have. Minions have 52% increased maximum life and increased damage. That is nice. White lines means I can discover the recipe. Okay. Yellow lines means you already have the recipe. Like now, it's a yellow line. Well, damn. But now I can basically, because this, I've got the crafting recipe for it, I can take this item and just dump it on the ground. I don't need it any further. Blessings. Blessings. Attack speed. Since increased attack speed. That seems pretty good. I am now just going with what I think. So don't judge me. <laughs> attacks this weapon penetrate resistances, attacks this weapon penetrate forward. Increased physical damage, starting to build enemies with your turn attacks. That could actually be nice, especially if you're going for a melee build. Dump that, and then I think the last one was this. Yeah. Increase cooldown recovery rate. Cold and chaos resistance. Is chaos a, a resistance that you actually ever need to worry about? Or not really? Not really yet. Okay. So strength and dexterity I'd rather go for on this. Oh well. That's for higher team maps and bossing mostly. Okay. Awesome. Keep your eyes sharp.
this little corner. Am I done in this section? I think that's all I needed to get there. Am I missing something? Oh wait, uh, what is the flask you were telling me I had to focus on getting? It was sulfur, wasn't it? it? Was silver? So those two were good, but not for you. Ah, okay. Well then, for now, I'm just going to grab, grab the health. You return from your hunt triumphant. Then Violenta 15, is dead. 15, 45. I wish I could say that a celebration is in order, but in our current existence, yeah. I've so had those all two. I can. I need one more level, then I should see a pretty Exile decent you. increase. It's time I replace this as well. Cold resistance. I <laughs> lose the fire resistance and gain the cold resistance. Yeah. Lovely. Let's start selling off. Shit. Seriously, gonna have to get some more stair steps for this stuff. And then I just want to hold on to that thing because I'm a order of uniques for reasons unbeknown to me. Wait, what did I do? This may not guard your treasures well. The fuck is this? Should I do that? Shouldn't I do that? Well, shrine ruins. Or should I not even think about touching this just yet because this is a later problem? It's like an alternate end. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that just yet. Let's just do the normal stuff. God damn, and now I'm looking for the next one. The gauntlet. Oh damn, okay. Hope is good for it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if this works. A fine day for exploring. Here's this book, right? Um Rap room currency. Templar, Reservoirs, with Flesh, I'm guessing Currency is what you're looking for?
Minor treasure reward. Minor treasure reward. I only have the first one to go. Okay, so it's like literally a no hit run. Okay, so basically stand at a distance. And then just... Inch forward. And just send these idiots forward. going to do that. Floor, receive four to present sanctum. Yeah, this floor. Give the sanctum. I'd rather take those, those are more important for me. Benevolent fountain. Don't know what that is. That was a big hit.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh shit, okay. So I did not see your chat there. Uh, find that's really good, they can restore your resolve, but they also come with curses. My god, okay. Yeah, this is a whole new element of the game that I've never even seen. Fifteen resolve on room completion. That contains a cursed pack and contains fountain. Let's go to the fountain. And screw you, then, good sir. I've already got that. And I've got a nice little bit of resolve recovery. Hey, hey. Uh, Being swap melee splash for multi strike would be beneficial in Sanctum. Oh, you're talking about the support gem? Um, the melee splash support replacing this, as there aren't any real packs for splash damage. That is very true. Um, contains a cursed pack that flicks you with Hemophage on entry. Spike shell on entry. Um, which is based here? Cursed pack or minor treasures? No idea. <laughs> Let's do the accursed pack. You cannot recover resolve, remove after killing the next floor boss. Shit. Lost a bit of resolve there. Your fate. Resolve recovered is doubled. Gain on a dagger. Lose 25% of your maximum resolve. Gain a tarnished coin. Ooh, that's good though. You and your minions deal 50% more damage. Often totem bolts. Makes sense. I'm gonna do something stupid and I'm gonna choose this. Another human tempted by power. Oh, I can choose more than one. <laughs> You're guessing it's not a good one to take multiple. No, I don't want to leave that. 50% increase in purchase prices. 
Ouch. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm supposed to be choosing the next floor now. That's in this room. And we are going there now. That was terrifying. That was the exit. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna give me shit because of the quest that I've got. <laughs> oh, God, I will take the ring HP currency. Shit. Yeah, I should really slow down and actually <laughs> look at chat, especially if I'm doing new content like this that I've never done before. Well, I'm in the final room now, so I think the first time didn't go too bad. Guessing that's not the last fight. Oh shit, it actually was. Six orbs of fusing. Their hypocrisy knows talking. no bounds. I will see their destruction. All I must do is outlive them. Let's if I want to continue like this goes to the Forbidden Sanctus, so I think I'm just going to be tempted. I see five orbs of charge right now. I should really slow down and actually ask. Again, free stuff. Ah, okay. Okay, well, let's actually go back to the whole purpose I am here. Uh, the deserted chambers. Yeah, let's go back to this. Yeah, I've been streaming for almost two hours, and I still haven't finished the fact then. goes back to that room. After the end we can do some mapping. <laughs> okay, Vol Ruins. Like, I haven't been doing any Vol Ruins. Is it something that a person should try and do as much as you can, or is it also one of those things like, it's not worth it unless a build actually requires it?
I avoid them. Okay, cool. And this just loops as well. What does essentially going to need? Think about the sanctum is you can use to play like this. You can't get hit. You keep playing like outside the sanctum as well. What the sanctum is you get so used to playing like you can't get hit. You keep playing like it outside the sanctum as well. Okay. So it's more like a mind shift that has to be made for you to realize, listen, yeah, this isn't a place where you can take unnecessary risks. It's the place where you need to be very specific about the movements. Exactly. Got you. Shall be your judge. Do the best of spirit to ban and find a way to destroy Katava. Yes, I'm going back over there. Hello there, exile. Okay, I'm not going to put this sanctum again. Screw you. That, 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 that. That's a sale that I can keep. That's a sale. That's a sale. Fourteen percent increased. Fourteen plus that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need a tutorial at some stage on how to actually get good gear. Bannon was a man. Ooh, um, I can't do this right. I've never actually tried. No, you can't. I'm going mostly for armor, so that and then that that's 610 armor. That is like a fuck ton more than what I've got, and it's a blue, blue, blue. That's decent, right? I'm not the only one who thinks that. Yeah, I can go and put um, resistances on it to make it better. Okay, this one's got more slots. But this build doesn't require any more slots. And now here's a follow-up question. On an item like this, where it's got the melee splash support, am I able to have the melee splash support and the multi-strike active at the same time? So there's multi-striking and... Uh, melee splash support or do they kind of like just cancel each other out okay normally alternate them out but if the if the slots are there and it's capable of doing it I can't see why you would potentially end up losing damage because not only are you getting the multi-shot if you keep both of them on you to swap two multi-strike for bosses okay awesome so that would actually be Lilith Lily what's her name? Lily uh, Oh, 
Was? Yo, schau, jetzt lieb Slime. multi support They take up the same slot in a six-link setup. Oh, okay, so that's if you're going for a six-link setup. Now that's just it. If I have a look at the build that I'm following, even if I have a look at the overview, Yeah, it is running a six link slot, but it's running a unique chest piece. Uh, six reds, uh, the lightning quail, desert, brigadine. It's the only real unique in the build. Oh, and the profane proxy, unsettling. Whatever that means. Now I'm just going to equip this just to level it, because obviously it's a level 1 right now. Take the same subset. Which unique? It's not the Covenant, is it? Uh, no, it is called uh, the Lightning Quill Desert Brigadine. Yeah, Lightning Quill. And then the unset ring is the profane, profane proxy. Should I rather keep the six link on or switch over to the four link for now? Red socket colors on a lighting quill. Yeah, because you need six reds. According to the build guide, it needs six red slots. I'm guessing you're gonna run roll a metric fuck ton of chrome gems to be able to get that. SRS is blue for one thing. Actually. Let me just do this. See? And it's all rich lots. Kills not the item. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, because the skills are running. Yeah, it's only got four. Four red. Two, four, six, eight, nine blues and two greens. So. Uh, do you want me to send you the build or the I don't have a path of build. I am following a. Uh, what is this thing called? Website. It's a Maxwell GG POE build guide. They've got the um, the skill tree and everything here that you need to follow. I'm not actually got it open in path of building. 
But I can do this. I'll just whisper to you quickly. Yep, I just sent the link to you. Okay, so where the hell am I going now? Am I going to that last um, node that's question mark on it? Until next time. Probably too red in the chest. Okay. Four blue, two red. Okay. I knew that you would find the path of righteousness once more, my Lord of Light. I shall be honored to fight by your side. I must have time. Thirteen divines. I'm guessing that's cheap in compared to what other builds cost. And like, don't get me wrong, I've got no actual idea like how difficult it is to get a divine or what a divine actually is. Oh my, okay. I think I've got like 20. <laughs> Finally, I can turn that on as well. And that means my armor should now have gone to 5,703. Yes. I'm not so squishy anymore. Six. I must have time to gather my will. Uh. 
I'm guessing this is looping back to where I came from, yeah. Am I pretty close to the end of Act 10, or is there still quite a bit to go? the end. Nice. Life and Mana rank 3. This is it. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay, we fought this person once before. But the fight never actually ended. How many times do you think I'm gonna die? Take a guess. Two. <laughs> nice vote of confidence. Congrats on finishing the tutorial. Why is that such a slap in the face, but also such a like an achievement? <laughs> this is the first time I've ever made it past it. The, the acts. So, Templar. <laughs> Oh fuck. Well, I said sail. Exile. Exile. Wake up. Was I supposed to do this or something? I was supposed to do this. Commander Kirak has written Keep your life to your own. It's through the tunnel. This is neither the time nor the place. Thank you very much, man. Like honestly, no jokes, like ninety percent of the guidance came from you. Just I think up to like act six I was okay. Anything after that was brand new grounds for me, so I was like, oh fuck, what now? I should have never. Diamond tide wait for no man. Now where the fuck am I going? Am I in the right place? <laughs> am I doing the right thing? Complete crack contract, talk to Lani for a reward and find the tunnel to the VAR room and talk to Commander Kirak. Oh, that's up. Just 
18. Pirax, mine, we have a vital. Okay. I'm not selecting a single one of these things until I'm explained what these are. I know that these are modifiers or these choose the actual maps that you go to. Is there any reference over maps? Are there any things that I should know about these map fragments or these map tier pieces? Or do I just pick one that sounds kind of cool? You just pick one and you run it. Okay, let's do bone crypt. Got my eye on you. By the light of Okay, well, I'll just quickly bring up my boat. Give me one second. Just gotta see where I've got to go next. I'm done up there. Ah, uh, we are coming down here. Done all of that. Now we go up and into there. If you have maps already, you pick that one that you don't already have. Yeah, I do actually have a couple of map pieces. Um, yeah, got a few of you. I have got Superior Glacier map, Quality 10%, Pier map, Bone Crypt map, Changing Flooded Mine map of Endurance. Item quantity 29%, item rarity 17%, and monster's pack size is bigger. I'm guessing that would be a good one to run first. They need to be magic. Okay. So I can count towards Atlas completion. Okay, and can I use these, um, the currency gems to actually take it from a white item to a blue item to a ma to a magic item so if i wanted to for example this bone crypt map can i go to my currency and actually yes i can okay so you would always basically want to take stack of those and then just come here and then just okay okay and then these red things the rogue markers and the rift scriptures one of all the t1 maps Ooh. Map tier one. Glacier. Here. Bone. Bone crypt. Mine. And crypt. Contracts are for heists. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay, so it's just uh, yet another alternative end game. What the fuck? I'm starting to understand why people think like yourself 2900 hours plus into this game because there is just there's always something to do there's always something to kill there's always something to grind for god damn okay well i'm just gonna grab uh, a random one so i'm gonna take this one chained it's 29% item quality, item rarity, monster pack size. Just take this and basically run down. And I'm guessing I'll put it into the map device. Dump it in there and then just say activate, right? Should I put multiple in or just one at a time? One at a time. Okay, got you. And I'm guessing this means I have got six attempts to try and clear this map, right? 
the other slots are for scarabs. What the fuck is a scarab? <laughs> Every sentence that's come out of your mouth so far has confused me more. <laughs> So I'm guessing knife for my for find map, map fragments. I'll take it no matter what. do I have to be with these maps? Do I have to like search every nook and cranny or am I going towards like an exit point or am I trying to clear kill everything in the map? Oh, oh fuck. 47, 42 and 55. Okay. So even though I gained 5,000 armor, my resistances just shut themselves need to kill the map boss okay but you kill the rest xp for loot okay Wasn't that one of the belts that you said were good? I can't remember the two names of the belts that you mentioned. Oh, okay, cool. I was about to say that would be funny as all fuck. Head out there and makes blood. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just remembered one of them started with an M and I wasn't sure what the rest of the name was. But come on, that would have been funny. Not sure they can drop in this map. Ah, okay. Wishful thinking on my part. <laughs> I know life flask. It's not in a fucking circle. Could be level seventy area plus. Ah, okay. That's where I came in from, so I'm guessing I need to go further north. Oh, down here. Oh, come on, you can get across there. Atlas World. Okay. Now, I've seen pictures. And I'm kind of scared to even start touching that root of things. Is there another passive skill tree that affects your atlas? To the point where you can start tailoring it to what you like. If you like like tower defense or if you like mapping or if you like bossing. Fuck six.
Okay, I'm guessing that was the map completed. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, that's just stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Help? <laughs> Peace, sir. <laughs> Guidance. <laughs> we should just going right up the middle first for more map drops. So just like square up the middle. Towards Kirak Mansions. All hands. Kirak. Towards that. This is retarded. What the fuck? So now not only do I have to contest with this fucking thing. <laughs> We've got this as well. Oh, lovely. Uh, best way to get more maps. Okay. But now that I've completed that map... I've still got six portals. Can I run every single one of the portals to get loot and potentially other maps and that kind of stuff? Or is it that I've beaten it once and now I can't access it again? I don't want to click on it and just accidentally start it for no reason. And then also, advice on that, would it be best to go into every single one of those portals? to check something stash tabs where is the steps of map stash tab i'm getting that i'm guessing that is a good one to have <laughs> at least uh, that's specific useful for blood not that specific useful for blighted maps at least in my experience because they loot explode real good Blighted maps. I'm guessing that's a modifier to a map. It's good to have. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those things that I'm definitely going to have to do. Because I'm guessing you pick up quite a couple of maps and quite a couple of contracts, etc, etc. That you would want to have. Maps you can hold all to see if they completed them or not. Okay. Incomplete, 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 incomplete. Okay. So I need to basically do all of these. So if I've got a duplicate, it'll tell me that it's been completed. Okay. Finding twin P maps. So now it's just a case of grabbing these maps and just running these ones. So I did this one. That's tier two map. And that is a tier two map as well. Obviously both of them will be completed. Item level 69. So it's based just to run through all the tier one maps and back from there. Okay, yeah, let's have a look at tier map then. Up here. Turn to talk to Kira quickly. Now that you've had a glimpse of 
Now that you've had a glimpse. And then go and go and sell items. Okay, purchase items. Grants an Atlas passive skill refund point. Okay, that's simple. Improves the quality of a map. I've got a few of those. And then stores a sextet modifier in an item. But I want the sextet modifier. You can also run maps in a party, but you'll still only get six portals in total. You can also use maps in your hideout. Oh. Okay. Well, let me run a PM map hey, and man. let's see how it looks. I think that it's your favorite. I love SRS. Welcome, whatever people. around I before something more interactive well I mean it's definitely getting to the point where I'm gonna start looking at the next couple of builds and I'm definitely gonna reach out to you for a suggestion on a build Something really satisfying about seeing the whole screen explode. Yeah. Great, I'm fighting you in sections. completed uh, so we're just working our way up right now wait wait was that the map boss is this area done now Said, uh, called that pronounced. I 
Six degrees, I'll make my energy ball. <laughs> So in form of numbers, it's nowhere nearly impressive as what I've seen other players. But I mean, I've got 400, close to 400 hours into the game, which I know is nothing for this game. And this is the first time I have ever made it to maps. Ever. And Maestro Chan has actually been uh, guiding me quite a bit on what the hell certain elements of this game means. Guessing this is what you meant by scarabs. When I was looking for a build to follow, I saw the tornado shot that I but didn't like what the build looked like because <laughs> I had no idea how difficult it would be to actually replicate it. It's not the tricks there. So, completed uh, maps. What does do with them? Do I get rid of them? Do I keep them? Keep all maps. Basically, they just keep getting run for experience. Okay, sweet. Thanks. Save them for an old character. I really need to get the stash tab for that. I think once the stream is done, when it eventually ends tonight, I think that's definitely going to have to be something that I buy as a stash tab. <laughs> Yeah, I've got the currency tab, but the map tab is something I don't have. <laughs> yeah, let's run the next one. Uh, first things first. seriously still holding on to every single unique and i don't know why should i just get rid of them because i don't think i've actually got any decent uniques on me the map tab every tab i own would be full of maps i can imagine You see, I get that. But I've got no idea if they're useless or if they are really good. I mean, this whole tab is full of uniques. It's just uniques in there, and then there's a couple of uniques over here. And then three random items, which I don't know why they're there. Grab a map. Go 
Yeah, I think this needs to come to there. Most uniques are useless. I'm just gonna make my life easier then and just sell all the uniques I've got. I need to give in those two somewhere as well. I did a mission for them, but I can't remember where. <laughs> Let's just take most of these uniques and just start selling them. How's the trail? Here's a waiting period. Try to quickly check prices of items. A third party program that is allowed, but you could use an official trade site and check the uniques. Yeah. See, I haven't even thought about trading yet in this game. And I don't think it's something I want to think about just yet. Or is trading like one of those things that it's kind of like a given that you have to do if you ever want to get your build to the point where you want it. Especially if your build requires specific uniques. the way yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go the lazy way for right now just move these why did i put those there I think I had a few random ones elsewhere. Nope, I'm just gonna sell those three as well. And yeah, that should be good. And then I can hey. do the next map. Actually, no, that's a, that's a, we've done that, yes, that's two, one I have it done. Hogan and Act 8. Okay. I will definitely do that when I return there. It's been completed.
Ooh. Bricked. Yeah, I dashed straight into that group. Okay, it actually remembers where you are. Which way around was I going? Um, top, front, bottom. Can somebody tell me what the hell the sacred grove is? Is that somewhere I want to go or not? Yes or no? <laughs> Pick your stuff that drops juice that you then use for haughty crafting. The fuck? I just do it and find out. Always a bit of a risk to do during maps. I must have time to gather my own. So, to be safe, I'm just going to skip that for now. Doesn't matter which way around I go there, right? Left or right doesn't matter, they both do the exact same thing. But I'm still just focusing on going straight up. Oh, and then, uh, second question. When I get here, I'm a 1% chance to grant an additional Kirak mission or quality of maps. Do I focus on quality of maps going right? Until I eventually get to the top and then down to the center. Never ends. 
Okay, let's quickly go to Act 8. Uh, 8. Got a hand in this thing. Sun and moon. Remember. There's a whole bunch of people here that I haven't spoken to. I wonder how many people I actually haven't spoken to. I'd faint the gun. You found them! No easy. Especially if they're giving me random uh, what no, I'll just take that one. Shield. It's not old. Okay. After this to be level seventy. Okay, so that's saying that's maxed. I feel like something's missing. Is that it? Good luck, dear. Is that my build done? Can I get more skill points after this? That's saying 94. What have I missed? Not that. Not those two. That one's red. That one's maxed out. All those are done. All that is done. That one's red. And that's gone to the top. Well, what the fuck? And then another question. The sentence trials. I haven't done the third one. Or the fourth one. Act 9 and Act 10. So somewhere I missed that. Yeah, I've got the level for it. I'm level 75, but... <laughs> I just don't know where in Act 9 I actually find that. Go do the trials then. I can't. I haven't physically found the... I haven't done the Ascendancy trials. I think I missed two of them. Yeah, I missed one in Act 9 and in Act 10. Uh, it is the Tunnel and the Osiri. Okay, let's go do those trials quickly. Nine. Close the tunnels. An emperor must bear two blades. Hope in the left. That was nice and quick. Surety in the right. And if you want to grab a TP real quick. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't just need to do the one in Act 10. And the one in Act 10 was the Osiris. Oh, oh fuck, so I need to go find it first. Oh no, right there. I ran this place dry once and there was nothing in see it I hate these ones wait what oh that's right Well, that was nice and quick. Innocence. I know these people giving me more stuff. Or random free skill points. I should actually go through all the times. And just double check because I think there's a good possibility that I've missed out. Points at other places. Three passive points. But here's the question. Like, I'm level 75 right now. Am I going to get any more skill points? Or, like, is that maxed? Like, have I just spent every skill point that I've got? The goddess is watching. get more. What the hell do I spend them on? The build isn't exactly telling me what I need to spend on the next points. Are those just like... There's nothing quite so enticing as a lot of just like, you'll be in 90 in a few days. Nice. Cool. What the fuck do I spend those points on? Is that all just like personal preference? Myself paying attention. I'm not running all the way back to the place now. <laughs> Why 
Well, at least the goal that we set out to achieve last night was actually achieved. Let the day dawn golden possibility. Actually made it to maps. Okay, so that's the estate path. If I go to the other door, oh, it doesn't look like either one goes directly to it. Please don't tell me I have to do one of these things now. Yeah, that's just for the fancy ass door. It doesn't look like I need that to progress. Resistance rank three. That might be the solution to my problems. What is the resistance cap after act? Is it still seventy-five, or is the resistance cap dropped? An emperor is only as efficient as those he commands. Give no quarter. By the goddess, what ambition! Only one of your lessons was compared I... to Should be swapping out multi strike for that, right? Capital was seventy five unless you made modifications to it yourself on gear or place of tree. Oh, okay. Don't feel that was worth it, but okay. I'm gonna kill myself again. Definitely gonna kill myself again. These energy trials, they always take so long.
Is there not like a guide as to how to get through these? Damn. Let's head into Charles quickly. It's not gonna force me to run around in circles looking for the right door. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. It's level nine. That's level to eighteen. Doubt is to dance with death. Is it gonna be a good idea to switch over to multi-strike in this fight? Do you think the gem is strong enough yet? That it will actually do enough damage. Pure lab has a guide. Damn, the scope of this game is ridiculous. Okay, so I've switched out melee splash support to multi strike. Hopefully, I don't die. When one defiles the effigy, one defiles the emperor. Strike with fidelity. Wow. Multi strike worked. should sparkle like ice upon the winter stone. And now that we're done with that, we switch it out again. Look at me learning. Oh yeah, I suppose in repetition is a big thing, because I mean, this is the first time I've ever reached Act 10. It's the first time I'm doing the Senate Charles, so... I suppose the more you do it, the more melee you become with the certain layouts. Nice, found the last one. An aspirant can afford to be promising. An emperor must keep those promises. You must navigate your empire through troubled waters. And I've got another map fragment. We have the first one I find, nothing interesting. Transform a non transfigure skill gem. I need to try to remember what you told me over here, so I just want a random as blue gem. Uh, frost wall. Like that. Do that and transformers could be a random transformer. That one. And craft. Light rays conduction.
and the Jambier of Falling, and Pen and Brand of Conduction. That was the right thing to do, right? I'm asking more questions in this stream than anything else because this is a world for me that is just. <laughs> So close. He wanted a penance brand of dissipation. Of conduction. Oh shit, okay. Damn it. Oh, fair enough. Completed the merciless labyrinth in a non-hardcore league. Uh, let me just check what the next ones are that I'm supposed to choose. Uh, overview. Number three. I am going for the stop two. I'm going for that and that. Every four seconds removes curses and elemental ailments from you. Every four seconds regenerates 100% of your life over one second. An increased armor, increased maximum energy shield, and generates your point five percent of your life per second. That's pretty decent. Hey. Can I sell shit to somebody? Well met. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Got wave of conviction, don't want to sell currency. Survive. And I'm at fragments. Now oh, I'm at fragments. They're gonna move to me there. And there. So those two have been completed. I've got two that are incompleted, then I can start here two maps. Just need to have a look and figure out how I can make this build stronger at this point. But it now starts coming down to gear and all of that. If I go to the hideout, um, let's have a look. So this resistance. Okay, so I've got no more suffix mods for that. This can't fit on anything on there either. I can replace, but it's going to cost me three. Three C for that. I don't want it because it's already got lightning resistance on it. That can't do shit. Ooh, I can do that though. Oh, but that's to replace. Mm. So 16% cold and lightning resistance. I could potentially do that to get 70 to 24 cold and lightning. Percentage wise might be better. But do I really want to spend 3C for that? I'm gonna go to the Forbidden Sanctum. How do I get back to... Back to maps. I have to go to the boat person again. Wait, you said I can access it from my hideout. I'm smart, I promise. Okay, I think let's do one more map for the evening. 
uh, which one should I do? Crypt or oh, they're both crypt. Enthralled or frenzy. Either one doesn't matter. Okay. I'll just grab that one then. Map device. I must have time to gather. I think I am still on multi strike, yeah. I've been getting really damn lucky with the uniques. Well, maybe not lucky, but just the fact that I'm getting a lot of drop. None of them have been useful. Who is that common? Do they actually drop that frequently? I said 12 unique shocks from the same mob. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. That's why I came in. I see there's a way up top that I never went, so I'm guessing I missed something somewhere. Unless that was a complete dead end. Yes, it was. That was today, in fact. What the fuck? No, because I was thinking, because one of the runs that I did before you arrived, I actually ended up picking up four uniques in one run. And I was just like, okay, is this normal? It's not normal. Am I lucky? But it seems like it's a pretty common occurrence. In the future, if I just want XP and I just want to basically run a whole bunch of maps, I can run all six of them if I want to. It doesn't do anything for the progression bar, it basically just helps with XP and loot. When getting the higher you go in the tier maps, the better the XP, better loot. Okay. So there's no real point in sticking around in the lower tier maps. You want to get up to the high tier maps as quickly as possible. Like, what's a good sweet spot between where it starts getting ridiculously difficult and where it's difficult but the loot is worth it? Or doesn't that exist? It's just simply a case of go as high as you can because the loot gets better and better the higher you go.
as long as you can do it safely. Okay. T7 is a good level right now. Okay. Gee, I, I, blue, blue, blue. Stock at fire gems, increase global critical strike, fire damage, increase spell damage taken when on low mana. I'm guessing if you've got something like mana reservation like I do right now, you can get 100% increased spell damage all the time. But I actually think that's a good place as any for me to call it or not. I mean, I set out what I wanted to do. Got through Act 9 and 10. Actually, I think there's one last thing I want to do. Just for the possibility of, I think I might have missed a couple of people here and there. That might have potentially had random skill points for me. See? You may fare you well. I am not so well. I knew. Thank you for returning. Farewell. Uh, let's go act three. Maybe not so much the early acts because I'm pretty vigilant with the early acts. I think more so when I was sprinting to get towards the end game because I've never been there. I started speeding up. Yeah, I mean, I came to these people once. You're still alive. Remember. And I don't think I spoke to them ever after that. Well. I don't ask that innocence blesses your journey. Uh, five, seven, six. What's this? in chat. I did that, and I think I've still got a pretty decent amount still left. Uh, one from Reflection of Terror, one from Queen of the Sands, one from Lentus Vengeance, and two from An End to Hunger. You see, like, yeah, there's missions that I haven't even done. Like, Clearly the the black running through the areas, I probably ended up skipping a whole bunch of things. Farewell. Is the zero that I want to turn in? Oh. Guessing they're all over here. Yeah. So. Mm. And then that goes back to the question that I asked earlier on. What the fuck do I do with these skill points? I feel I have failed my Because my old guy doesn't your life tell me what to do with these points any further. the gods of course now that i have farewell what was that uh? be careful there i breath in act 6 you say i think i can tidy up everything once i'm done i always go back there and then I've obviously been here more than once now. These people don't have anything for me. So let's try that again. Let's see if I collected the stuff that I missed. From Love is Dead. Templin Legion. Law of Highgate. Freedom? Yes. What do you mean damage cluster? Uh, you should always go for jewel sockets. Romanian damage cluster. Uh, let's have a look. Where's the closest jewel to me? Uh, I can't spell, I promise. 
I've got a jewel cluster right there. Got a jewel cluster right there. These are basic jewel sockets though. Minion damage cluster. Increase life for the minions, no damage though. I don't do corpses. Minions explode, explode when reduced to low life, giving 33% of their life as fire damage to surrounding enemies. That doesn't sound half bad. One, two, three, four to get to that, and then increase life and resistance. More damage, and moving while bleeding doesn't cause minions to take damage. And you'd have to get a cluster chill with a minion damage on it. Ah. And that I don't have. I think we checked these already. Mental resistances. Small passive skills have 25% increased effect. An added passive skill is overshock. Okay, so explain to me. So once I've got one of these jewels, now let's say I come across the one that I want, I like it, it's all good with it. What do I do with it? I put this into one of the jewel slots on the skill tree. One of these slots. Call to the slaughter on it. Let's make it closer. A large jewel socket, okay. In the outer ring. Does that work? Oh, we're talking about these ones, large jewel sockets. Okay. Okay, so closest one for me is right here. Increased mana and then a large jewel socket. Yeah, so that. <laughs> sorry, I didn't see the chat. Obviously, I'd want to put one inside over there. That's the one I'm going for. Got you. So, am I correct in saying that any skill points that I now get afterwards is trying to get towards large jewel sockets? Or jewel sockets in general? So, what am I saying is, so, I'm still going to be getting more skill points. There's nothing on the build left for me to follow in regards to the skill points. So, now I'm basically just trying to see how many um, dual sockets and large dual sockets I can potentially get to and see what's along the way. Keeping in mind, obviously, what my level is and how many more skill points I'm going to get.
to save the points for the cluster. The cluster will add to the skill tree with a bunch more nodes. Maybe the points for the cluster. Oh. Do it. Okay. It clicked. I know what it means. Okay. So that's why we're looking for a minion damage one because when I put it into that socket, I will get a whole bunch of extra points, skills that I can go to inside there. Okay, with you. So that does mean though that I at least need to spend some points to open up that large jewel socket. Until eventually I can find a minion cluster. Got you. Okay. A fine day for exploring. Now, question. Where do I? Is there a central place where I can access? Is there a central place where I can access all of the um, in game content? Or do you have to bounce around between the different acts to be able to access things like. Insert X. You do most of it from the hideout. Okay. Is that all these people? Obviously, high to do from the rogue harbor, Dal from the mining camp, and so on. Yeah, you'll be spending the rest of your days in the hideout. Okay, so there are certain aspects of the game that you need to specifically go to there individual peoples Great so like teams. nisa nika you'd go to the the mining camp and obviously do it from there for i know you'd go to the the beast place can i spread these people out so they aren't on top of each other stay in the light xr You. Okay. Yeah, that works. Not going to be pretty in any sense of the form. Sweetness, thank you very much. Here for a deal? Don't drink. Hail. One grandson, cost for unit, one grandson, Arthur. Expedition map. I'll what do you need? Uh, these things I just get from blowing up that shit in the streets. People don't want to sell. That's okay, man. Don't really don't worry about it, but I really do appreciate it. Don't give up. History repeats itself. New temple entrance. Hello. Atlas mission. Acceptable. Which have crafting is open for free. Hello. New beast theory. 
What the fuck? There is a whole world that I'm gonna have to figure out. But I'm excited to figure it out. But I think that's where I'm gonna call it for the night. Uh, the stream has been going for how long, actually? Oh, where the hell is my page? <laughs> Almost four hours. <laughs> That's insane. But I think it's gone well. Ice locker. Wait, can I not store all my stuff inside? Yeah. Please tell me that's a thing. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that this thing exists? Okay, well, either way, I hope you have a lovely night further, and thank you very much for joining the stream. For everybody who watches this after the fact, my Twitter is live, uh, YouTube is live, The this video will probably uh, be out tomorrow night of the date of the recording of this video. This video will be up on YouTube for you to enjoy. Um, go ahead and follow, like, subscribe, do all the normal stuffs. The definitely in the bottom right corner. Got you. Thank you very much. And I hope everybody has a lovely night further or day, wherever you're from. And join me next time for the stream. And please spread the word. Let's grow the channel. Let's grow the community. I really will appreciate all the support that comes. Have a lovely night further. <laughs>